Yeah, this is getting absurd. Chris isn't my nightmare. He's my freaking friend and things are fine. All this transphobia is starting to piss me off. Mr. Beast made this tweet in response to the YouTuber Sunny V2 making a video called Why Chris Will Soon Be a Nightmare for Mr. Beast, where Sunny argues that Mr. Beast is in an inescapable situation where if he doesn't accept his friend Chris, who's transitioning from male to female, he'll be canceled. But if he does, he'll alienate some viewers, which would ultimately hurt his channel and business. An inescapable situation is a pretty good way of describing the drama, which is also why it deserves the harsh label of being a nightmare. Jimmy has no option but to publicly express acceptance of Chris's transition, as silence or even worse disapproval would come with obvious severe repercussions. However, Sonny says that the best situation Mr. Beast can hope for is if his friend Chris decides to resign on his own. The only clean solution, should things go south, might be for Chris to resign himself. And See, this is exactly what I freaking hate about the internet. All this gossip and rumors and people just stirring up drama for content. Sunny achieved nothing by making this video. Most of the video is just Sunny grabbing Twitter screenshots of people reacting negatively to Chris coming out as trans. Sonny provides no evidence for any of his claims on whether Chris coming out as transgender will negatively impact Mr. Beast. All he's doing is just making assumptions. Things would have been different if Sonny provided an actual example of an instance where a big YouTuber had their channel's momentum derailed because their friend came out as transgender. That would be more convincing than this lazy TMZ style gossip video he made. Another thing that should be discussed is why people are so pessimistic about Mr. Beast. Why are people saying that Chris could possibly kill his channel? And most importantly, why should anyone care what these people have to say? I don't understand why anyone would care about what a bunch of people on Twitter are saying. Twitter is well known for being a playground for people with the most horrible takes and opinions. These are the same types of people who would criticize Mr. Beast for curing people's blindness. So I would take anything that comes out of their mouths with a grain of salt. And I don't know why Sonny is predicting that Chris could possibly lead to the decline of Mr. Beast. People who watch Mr. Beast will continue to watch him. And the small minority of people who decided not to watch because of his friend Chris, they will be replaced by new people. Another thing I want to talk about is Sonny V2's cynicism. Why does he think things between Chris and Mr. Beast will be awkward going forward? Mr. Beast has been friends with Chris for a very long time and he's been supportive of his friend. So why does he think Mr. Beast would just abandon Chris as he's going through his transition? Does he think Mr. Beast is just putting on an act and pretending to support Chris in order to protect his YouTube channel? I don't know. But one thing I do know is Sunny V2 is doing a whole lot of projection in this video and it's honestly quite pathetic. This is what I hate about social media and the internet in general. Nobody wants to mind their own business and everybody acts like they got all the facts when they actually don't. Stay safe out there. Everybody hey.